Kimville versus People, GR number 214497, April 18, 2017. This is for criminal procedure, specifically on sufficiency of complaint or information. This case was about how the second element of the crime of acts of lasciviousness is penalized under Section 5, Paragraph B of RA 7610 should be alleged in the information. This was an original case for acts of lasciviousness as penalized under Section 5, Paragraph B of RE 7610, filed against Petitioner Kim Bell. The accusatory portion of the information alleged that the petitioner committed lascivious conduct through the use of force and intimidation by inserting his hand inside the panty of a seven-year-old girl and mashing the latter's vagina against the latter's will and consent. Both the Regional Trial Court and the Court of Appeals held the petitioner as guilty beyond reasonable doubt. On appeal before the Supreme Court, the petitioner argued, among others, that his conviction was incorrect because the information against him was deficient for failure to allege all the elements necessary in committing acts of lasciviousness under Section 5, Paragraph B of RA 7610. The specific element that the victim is a child exploited in prostitution or subjected to other sexual abuse. On the other hand, the respondent maintained that children, whether male or female, who for money, profit, or any other consideration, or due to the coercion or influence of any adult, syndicate, or group, indulge in sexual intercourse or lascivious conduct, are deemed to be children exploited in prostitution and other sexual abuse. Issue? Whether the information filed against the accused failed to allege the elements of the crime of acts of lasciviousness as penalized under Section 5, Paragraph B of RA 7610. Ruling? No. The information filed against the accused did not fail to allege the elements of the crime of acts of lasciviousness as penalized under Section 5, Paragraph B of RA 7610. The Supreme Court said, that it is not necessary that the description of the crime as worded in the penal provision allegedly violated be reproduced verbatim in the accusatory portion of the information before the accused can be convicted thereunder. The fault in petitioner's logic lies in his misapprehension of how the element that the victim is exploited in prostitution or subjected to other sexual abuse should be alleged in the information. Section 5 of RA 7610 has been expanded so as to cover abuses that are not characterized by gain, monetary, or otherwise. In the case at bar, the abuse suffered by AAA, the victim, squarely falls under this expanded scope as there was no allegation of consideration or profit in exchange for sexual favor. As stated in the information, petitioner committed lascivious conduct through the use of force and intimidation. With the foregoing, the court need not burden itself with nitpicking and splitting hairs by making a distinction between the similar if not identical words employed, and make a mountain out of a molehill. 
the court has held in a catena of cases that the rule is satisfied when the crime is described in intelligible terms with such particularity as to apprise the accused with reasonable certainty of the offense charged. Furthermore, the use of derivatives or synonyms or allegations of basic facts constituting the offense charge is sufficient. Hence, the exact phrase exploited in prostitution or subjected to other abuse need not be mentioned in the information. Even the words coercion or influence need not specifically appear. Therefore, the information filed against the accused did not fail to allege the elements of the crime of acts of the seriousness as penalized under Section 5, Paragraph B of RA 7610. In applying the foregoing, the petition was denied and the Court of Appeals decision finding Petitioner Kim Bell guilty beyond reasonable doubt of acts of lasciviousness was affirmed.